Yeah, come on in. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good, I'm hey. Kyle Connell with Kyle? ADP. All right, nice to meet you. I'm Chris Hansen. Thanks for meeting with me. Oh, no, thanks for having me come in today. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, what's the deal? So, I was actually referred to you by one of your clients, uh, Terry Lowe. Yeah, Terry's a good buddy of mine. Yeah, he was, uh, he was telling me you guys do some golfing? We do. We golf yeah. all the time. Okay. We're avid golfers. You are. Yeah. So, being based out of the Chicago area, have you ever been able to get down to the Medina course? Um, no, no, we haven't. No. Um, there's a few courses around uh, the office, but... Uh, uh, we're we're looking to uh, have some big uh, golf outings here coming soon. Okay. So, yeah, have you been to that one? I, I haven't, but they had the Ryder Cup out there this okay. year. It's actually not too far away from my hometown. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Man, that Ryder Cup was crazy. <laughs> the, the the crowd reaction was awesome. Definitely, definitely. Well, yeah. I'd like to actually move on, kind of get to know a little bit more about you and what you do with MSDS. So okay. What what's your position? Um, right now, I'm the chief operating officer for um, MSDS. Okay. And, um, Really, I kind of just handle all the big the big business for them. Um, yeah, I've been here for about uh, eight years since we started it. Okay, eight so, years. Uh, so, yeah, pretty. You've seen most of the, what's been going on the past couple of years. Then, yes. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Now, is there anyone else that you'd like to bring into this meeting? Any other decision makers? Nope, I'm the point? decision maker today. Okay. Okay. Good deal. So, question that I'd like to ask you: You said you've been here for eight years. Mm -hmm. But where do you see the company going in the next five years in terms of growth? In terms of growth, uh, we're going to be expanding, absolutely. Expanding? Um, okay. Yeah. We, uh, we uh, eight years ago, we had um, 125 employees. Okay. But we've uh, expanded to 150 since then. Okay. So we wow. ex expect to continue that growth. Okay. And then do you have about a projection of where you might like to be within the next five years percentage-wise in growth? Um, I'm not necessarily sure of the percentage. Like we'd be up, like to be up around um, 175 to 200 employees by the okay. end of five years, I'd say. Okay. So, like you said, you told me you have 150 people on your payroll. Yes. Who does your payroll? Actually, her name is uh, Shelly Bennett. Okay. And she's the director of talent management here. Talent management. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So she's kind of playing two games here, doing the payroll and uh, recruiting people okay. for our company. Wow. So you. So it's only one person that manages 150 people on payroll. Yes. Then. Okay. Yes, absolutely. So how often does she do that? She's up uh, constantly doing it, and that's uh, kind of something we need we uh, need to address. She okay. uh, she's spending numerous hours doing the payroll when uh, really it's taking her time away from finding recruits for our company right. and bringing in new talent. So um, I don't know, maybe a number that we have for her. Uh, doing it, but it's definitely a lot more hours than what she would expect right. what she's being paid to do. Right. So with that process, is, when did, like, is it bi-weekly, semi uh, We're bi-weekly. Bi-weekly, okay. And then, so you said she's taking time away from talent. How would that affect your goal of being able to grow if she's not able to go out there? And yeah, get, if she's not able to talent? get some more recruits and more talent, then obviously we're not going to grow. So um, I think that her time needs to be allocated more on talent search and finding more recruits, but um, okay. we got to get the payroll done at the same time. So, yeah, it definitely does affect that. Right. Now, what would you think of a system that would free her up to be able to go out and procure that talent so she's not spending all her time doing payroll? Yeah, that sounds great because I would get her back to what we hired her to do and are paying her to do. So okay. I think that would be great. So something to make you guys more efficient then? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. So then could you... Do you know exactly what the payroll process is for her? What kind of steps she goes through? Well, she uses um, a program called QuickBooks, okay. which um, which was perfect for when we first started. We had 10 employees yeah. when we started, and that was perfect for her. Now we're up to 150, and she's trying to do it for all 150 people, and that's just overwhelming for her. Right. Um, it's taken her a lot longer than normal. Um, Three days after the end of each pay period, she sends out the paychecks along with the uh, pay stub. So they're not getting their checks five to seven days after the pay period. Oh, wow. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of a concern yeah. for the, some of the employees. So how, how does that affect the employee morale? Yeah, it's definitely down. You know, when you, you end a pay week and you expect to get paid relatively soon and you're waiting a week to get your paycheck, that's not making our employees very happy. And right. we've actually lost a couple of employees due to that. Okay. But, you know, it's... It's part of it. Yeah. We can't make it go any quicker. 
That's about the format that we're using now. Yeah, so something you'd like to try and avoid then for the future. Yeah, absolutely. You don't okay. want to, you know, training costs for new employees coming in are so high. We want to keep retain our employees that we have now. Exactly, exactly. So other than losing employees and them not getting paid on time, are there any other problems with the system that you're running right now? Well, um, taxes are kind of a problem. Taxes are a problem too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what kind of problems you run into with taxes? Um, uh, she's not really a tax accountant. Okay. And she's kind of having problems um, I'm doing that. But she's the most knowledgeable, but she's not a professional with uh, with taxes. So right. we're kind of having a lot of errors, and then that's taking more time and money to fix those errors. Mm -hmm. So that, yeah, that's kind of a problem that we've addressed or f have found. Okay. So. so, yeah, I could definitely see that being an issue. Mm -hmm. So, um. So would you guys like a way to be able to eliminate those problems then? Yeah, absolutely. If, if there's something affordable that we could, I'd like to take a look at it. Okay, well, what I have with me today is we have a mobile system, which is what I'm wanting to talk to you about. If you'd like to take a look at that, I can bring it up right now on yeah, my phone. Yeah, sure, that'd be nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm always on my iPhone doing business and okay. um, always looking for a way to get a competitive edge with so, the, uh, so technology. Mobile. Yeah, technology absolutely. Big then. I'm always okay. on it. Good deal. So if you just take a look at the system here, as you can see, you've got HR checkup, HR dictionary. You can look into your employees. Okay. You can also get your reports. Make sure that your taxes are right, so you're not getting dinged with any penalties or anything. Oh, like that. okay. You so see? the problems that we're having. Yeah. yeah. So I can I can help take care of that. As you look, you can see your payroll here, and start new payroll. You can set it up to where, right now, it's on a weekly schedule. Okay. But you can go in and you can change the date. You can change that to biweekly. To biweekly. Oh, correct. okay. That's. Very helpful. I think a lot of our employees would enjoy that. Yeah, and so and you can also, as you see here, you can set up direct deposit. So those employees, they're not waiting to get their checks once payroll's processed. It's going right. It's to going them. right away. They're going to get their mm -hmm. paychecks. So they can get it right away. If they'd still like to get a physical check, they can still do that. Okay. But this system gives them something where they'll have it right away and they can see it going through. And all of my employees can get this app on their phone if they have a smartphone. Well, this would correct? actually be something that your payroll people would get. Oh, the payroll. It wouldn't be going to your employees. Your payroll people would take this and everything would get plugged in. So if we click start here, you've got all your employees and you can go through and input all their data. For okay. Their, their time, their hours, their salary, everything like that. Oh, wow, that's really nice. So That sounds really good. I like that. Okay. And that comes with the service. It say. does. Okay. This, is, this is part of our payroll service. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So are there, are there any other questions that you might have for me about our system? Um, any concerns, anything like that? Yeah, I do actually have uh, kind of a concern. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm kind of concerned about the size of your company. The size of our company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we are, we are a bigger company. Mm -hmm. And what you get with that is you get the support system, what you might not be able to get from a smaller company. Our company has trained staff in any area you can think of. So if you're having a problem with our system, you can go to our, our payroll people, our people who set this up, and they can walk and guide you through that. You have me personally. I can help you through any issues that you might have. So if I, I'm having issues and I give you a call, I'm not going to have to wait a week to get to talk to you. Am I going to be able to talk to you relatively soon? When you I, can. I, I get hold of you? I'll always have my phone with me. It's always on, okay. so it's not an issue. If I can get you my direct contact. I can get you my office number. So even so though you guys are like the largest payroll company in the world and you have hundreds of businesses out there and we're kind of a smaller one, you don't take that into effect as far as like, you were going to talk to your more profitable companies before us? Well, we like to keep our companies as happy as possible. You might not be the biggest company, but we still want to keep you happy. Okay. I appreciate that. Because our, our business, everyone's business is important to us, no matter if you're a billion dollar, billion dollar company at the top of the line mm -hmm. or you're a smaller company like what you have here. Okay. All right. I like that a lot. Um, there's one other thing that was kind of concerning. I've done some research on other companies, and um, uh, privacy is another kind of big issue. Okay. Um, there's some companies that have been hacked in, and employees' uh, information is being stolen. Right. Do um, you guys ever have an issue like that? or? Not that I have ever encountered. Okay. I'm sure it's possible. I'm not going to lie to you. There are some very intelligent hackers exactly. out there who can break into a system. But we, what we try to do to avoid that is with our system, I don't know if you saw when you go in, you have to have login information to even access that system. Okay. Plus, we have IT people who set it up to make sure 
that your information is safe. And if you'd like, we can set up another time to meet, and I can bring some of those people in there or bring in my IT information. Yeah, that would make me feel more comfortable okay. um, for going forward with this. Other than that, you know, I, I really do like uh, what you have to offer, and I think it would save a lot of time and money for us. So, okay. yeah, say we do that. Okay, so when would you like to set up a time to meet then? Let's see, how about uh, Monday at 9 a.m.? Does that work for you? Monday, 9 a.m.? That should work, and I will get back in contact with you, and I will see if there's anything else that you'd like me to bring in that next Monday at 9 a.m. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks right. a lot. Thank you for your time. Good work. That was really good. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> did you see a lot of research? I did a little bit. I was trying to, I wasn't sure if I was going to be on the uh, Ball State Regional Competition, but I joined the sales team, so I, I went through and did a little bit of research on my own.